the stage is set. Number one ranked Michigan Wolverines, perfect 14 and 0, Big Ten champs, taking on number two ranked Washington Huskies, 14 and 0, Pac 12 champions. My friends, what a game this should be. Welcome to the Buckeye Vinny YouTube channel sports show. For all my friends and subscribers out there, I want to thank you for tuning in. Now let's get this video underway. My friends, what more can you say? The Michigan Wolverines ranked number one, like I mentioned, and the path to get to the national championship title game, they defeated Nick Saban and the Alabama Crimson Tide in comeback fashion, 27 to 20 in overtime. And the Washington Huskies, ranked number two in the nation, defeated the Texas Longhorns 37 to 31 to get to the college football championship title game. My friends, let's take a look at first the number one ranked team in the country. Jimmy Harbaugh, what more can you say? A great season, might not be a great fan, a big fan of his, but I got to give credit where credit's due. This is a Michigan Wolverine team coming in a perfect 14-0 averaging 36 points a game on offense, on defense, what more can I say, ranked number one in the nation in total defense, only giving up a stingy 10 points per game. On offense, they are led by QB1, J.J. McCarthy. This young man, 22 touchdown passes, only four interceptions, he has completed 73% of his passes for 2,851 yards on the year. You know, my friends, when you break it down, you know, it, it, it takes a consistent quarterback. And I don't care what anyone says. You need a good, consistent quarterback to get to this level. Obviously, Michigan has that with J.J. McCarthy. When you look at J.J. and their total offense, now this is a Michigan team that racks up a total offense of 380 yards on offense. On defense, they give up a stingy, only 243 yards a game to their opponents. There's many weapons on this Michigan team, okay, without a doubt. I got to give credit where credit's due. All my Buckeye Nation, if you're watching, Michigan is the real deal, okay? Case closed. They're not 14-0 and and playing in the national championship title game for nothing. The running attack looks this way. Blake Corum, wow, what a season. 1,111 yards on the year, 25 rushing touchdowns. And let's not forget Donovan Edwards, 393 yards on the year, a very big back. Uh, you know, he does come in to give uh, Blake Corum a breather. He's done a nice job. 393 rushing yards on the season and three rushing touchdowns. <clears throat> when you look at the receiving core, Roman Wilson played a really good game against the Alabama Crimson Tide without a doubt. 45 grabs on the year, 775 yards receiving. But what jumps out at me? 12 receiving touchdowns. Colston Loveland, 42 grabs, 585 yards, four touchdowns, and do not sleep on Cornelius Johnson. Very good wideout. 44 receptions, second on the team, 579 yards receiving, and one touchdown. My friends, when I look at this offense, you know, they have many weapons, like I mentioned. Their offense averages 160 yards on the ground. So, you know, we shall see how this plays out. Now, this is my preview video, okay? I'm not giving no prediction. That's a video down the road. This is my preview video of Michigan and the Washington Huskies. So, 
When I stop to look at the defense, wow, this is a defense ranked number one for a reason in the nation, 16 team interceptions and a total of 38 and a half sacks. So, you know, Michigan can bring it on defense. A very good physical D-line. They are led by Junior Colson, 89 tackles on the year. He leads that defense in tackles. And let's not forget Michael Barrett, 61 tackles on the year. But my friends, when you look at these three guys, okay, Jalen Harrell, six and a half sacks, Josiah Stewart, five and a half sacks, and Derek Moore, five sacks. My friends, this is a real deal without a doubt. Washington wants to win. They better bring their A game. Now we're looking over to the number two ranked team in the nation, undefeated Washington Huskies, perfect 14-0. This is a team that averages 38 points a game. They are lethal on offense. Okay, They could score on any play at any time. My friends, the only thing that worries me is if you're a Washington Husky fan, their defense gives up 24 points a game. A little too many points for me, to be very honest. Now, they are led by signal caller, wow, Michael Penix Jr. Has completed 67% of his passes, 4,648 yards passing, 35 touchdowns in the air, only 9 interceptions. Wow. Now, when I looked at this and broke this team down, Washington Huskies average 350 yards passing. That's just passing, my friends. On the ground, they average 124 rushing yards a game. So that is good for a total offense average of 474 yards a game. The Huskies average on offense my friends, another number that scares me, on defense they give up to their opponents 404 total yards on defense. Wow. On the ground, they are led by Dylan Johnson, 1,162 yards rushing. What a year he has. And 16 rushing touchdowns. So, bottom line, the number one ranked Team on defense, Michigan, better bring their A game to stop Johnson. The receiving core, wow, check this out. Rome Adonze, 87 grabs on the year, 1,553 yards receiving, 13 touchdowns. Jalen Polk, 65 grabs, 1,122 yards receiving, 9 TDs, and Jack you know, what more can you say about this young man? Uh, Jack Stover, 41 receptions, 391 yards, and four touchdowns. I'm sorry, I believe his name is Westover. And when you look at this young man, Jalen McMillan, 39 grabs, 526 yards receiving, and also four touchdowns. So my friends, Penix just does not zone in on one receiver. He, he really doesn't. He has numerous options to go to. If Adunze is covered, he's going to Polk. If Polk's covered, he's going to Westover. Wow. Must be nice to have that many weapons. My friends, this is going to be a dandy of a game. On defense, well, their team defense interceptions, identical to Michigan, 16. They are led by Dominique Hampton, 99 tackles on the year. He's the true All-American. What more can you say? Very physical, very physical lineman. And sacks, here's what jumps out at me. Washington Huskies, only 21 team sacks. Braylon Trice has seven out of the 21. So we shall see how this game plays out, my friends. Defense gives up, on average, of 137 yards rushing a game. So, not crazy bad, but we shall see. You know, it's going to be Michigan, which loves to control that ball. 
nice, you know, Michigan loves to have those nice long drives that eats up clock. Washington, on the other hand, they rather score on two, three plays by Penix's arm. It's going to be a very interesting game, to say the least. Now, we're talking about two quarterbacks, okay, J.J. McCarthy and Michael Penix Jr., that both of them are dual threats, okay, and they are. Penix can beat you throwing. He can beat you running. J.J. McCarthy, identical, okay? He can beat you throwing the ball. When the pocket breaks down, McCarthy not afraid to take off and get that crucial first down, which he showed against Alabama. So, my friends, a very interesting matchup, to say the least. You know, when you look at both of these teams, the last time, I believe, Washington won a national championship, I believe that was in 1991. you got to go all the way back. And when you look at it, they shared that national championship title with the Miami Hurricanes that year. Boy, oh boy, I hated the way they did it back then, okay? There's some things I loved how they did college football back in the 80s and the 90s, and there's some things I did not like, okay? Just like what I mentioned, you do not have two national champion teams. You have one, but... They, in 1991, they decided to have two, Miami Hurricanes and the Washington Huskies. Same thing with the Michigan Wolverines. Last time Michigan ever won a college football national championship title, you got to go back to 1997, where, what's these two teams have in common? Michigan had to share their title, I believe, with the Nebraska Cornhuskers, if I'm not mistaken, and that was uh, the uh, legendary coach, Tom Osborne, that coached the uh, Huskers. Tremendous job he did. So we shall see now. Bottom line, no sharing titles, okay? The winner captures the title. My friends, if you are new to my channel, please smash that subscribe button. It's free to do so. Buckeye Vinny here would appreciate it. If you like this video, which I hope you all do, please click on the like button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I would appreciate that. And, like always, Michigan, Georgia, at Alabama, Washington Huskies, I don't care what kind of fan you are, Buckeye fan, please comment down below. I would love to read your comments on this game and on this video. I really would like your take of this game. Now, like I said, no prediction tonight, okay? That's a video maybe Friday, tomorrow. But, like always, peace out. God bless to all. What a game this is going to be. Number one ranked Michigan, 14-0, taking on number two ranked Washington Huskies, 14-0 in the college football championship title game. That's all Buckeye Vinny has. Everyone, have a safe, safe, and blessed evening. Buckeye Vinny's out of here.